Hey everybody, Kevin here with another Note Investor Tip of the Day. I was talking with a client of mine today and he has a portfolio of 20 notes and so far only one note has ever gone bad on him. As a matter of fact, uh, he emailed me and said, uh, you know, I have all these notes, it's the first one. I just happen to be checking out my servicing company. All servicing companies have accounts that you can check and he goes, yeah, and I noticed they're four months behind. So the way it works is on 60 days behind, ideally it's on your radar screen, but let the servicing company do their job. That's what you paid them for. Once it gets to 90 days though, then they need your input. They need to know what direction are they going. And generally it's one of three directions. They'll send out a demand letter, which they'll charge you for. They'll um, hook up, hook you up with an attorney and they'll be the conduit between you and the attorney. And the third way is you tell the servicing company, hold off, I'm gonna take over from here with my own attorney and handle it that way. And there's positive and negative things about each one of, of those, um, which I'll outline on another tip of the day, but ultimately you as the investor will have to decide what direction are you going. Otherwise your servicing company really doesn't know what to do other than continue to call and just send out regular letters to this person. At this point in time, 90 days or more, you've got to wake up that delinquent borrower and let them know there's consequences to that. So open up the communication because a lot of times what you'll see is you go back in your notes and they're just not communicating anymore. We've got to get them to communicate because we do have resolutions, which are typically better than having a foreclose. So there's your note investor tip of the day.